Hey G.I. Joe fans, it is that time of year where Timmer, Half the Battle Timmer, is hosting his annual children's charity drive. If you would like to participate in his charity drive, click the link down in the description below to find out how to participate in the drive as far as making a donation for a prize. If you would like to make a monetary donation, uh, very simple. The rules are incredibly simple. It is all you need to do is one, make a video of yourself making the donation, or two, take a picture of your receipt. You have to have the proof of one of the two in order to be eligible for these prizes and send it to his email, which will be down in the description as well. Feel free to cover up any important information you don't want him to know on the receipt, such as your address, phone number, things of that nature. Um, at the end of this month, he will hold the drawing. A name will be drawn out of, the hat, out of a hat for prizes. Last year, as you know, I put up or if it should say, as you know, but if you follow his channel, um, last year I donated a um, Tiger Force, a complete Tiger Force Tiger Fly. This year, another Tiger Force vehicle, a complete, well, I should say near complete, because I don't have the windshield wiper. Apologize for that, but it does come with the driver and his gun. The Tiger Force Tiger Cat. Uh, I'm putting this up as a prize. So if you would like to win this beautiful vehicle, so all you got to do is make a donation. Simple as that. So head on over to his channel and check that out. Now it's time for the review. time for another G.I. Joe toy review and today we're going to be looking at the 1990 stretcher. Uh, he was released that year uh, as a part of the series 9. He was discontinued in 1991 so by then every Joe had their um, had a one-year run from 1990 on um, it's a shame because this guy is really cool. Uh, one of my favorites of that uh, year. Um, didn't have him as a kid. I don't even recall seeing him on the shelves. If I did, I would have definitely bought him. I, I like the medics. Uh, just in, in memory of my late father, who was a Green Beret medic. Uh, he came with a ton of accessories for its time. Uh, he, the production stopped in 91, but he was still on the shelves in 92, possibly 93, in uh, discount stores, if you're lucky to find them. Uh, his original retail price was $2.79. This was the only version ever made of him, and it really is a shame, given the, the good look of him. I, I want to say that the fan club put one out but um, that is definitely a false memory uh, but uh, yeah stretcher is a really cool action figure 1990 started getting 
was, in my opinion, the end of the golden era of uh, G.I. Joe. Um, after that, they started getting a little bit lazy uh, with their, their weapons trees, taking a version of an action figure and um, changing the paint scheme and releasing it again the following year as another version. Things of that nature, they were struggling to keep their uh, toy line alive. They're competing against Ninja Turtles and uh, Alien vs. Predator, so they started getting into the more of the alien type you know, towards the end of the 90s, uh, into the vintage line, I should say. Um, but the bright colors really soured a lot of people, and I I could understand why we're you know brought up on the 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 subdued colors of a military toy line, and then all of a sudden everything is a a neon color to appeal to another generation of children. And for the '90s kids, that's what they know, and that is what they like. But us who were brought up with the 82 Joes on up, you know, we had the more military colors. So the brighter colors really started to sour a lot of people and the more science fiction type things. Um, but I do want to point out, we did have the bright colors in 86. Uh, well, technically you could you know, call, you know, say we started off in 85 when we had, um, airtight you know bright yellow but that fit his job so 86 we had Xandar and Zorana you know the neon pink and electric blue colors on them um, then we had um, sci-fi the bright line green and um, of course lifeline version one came in red but that was suitable for his job he was an air rescueman. Uh, he has a mountaineering helmet. I'll point that out later on. So the bright red did help him. was justifiable. So without any further jawing, uh, I'll go ahead and get started on this review. I wish I had some childhood stories to share with you uh, about this guy. But like I said, I don't recall ever seeing him on the shelves. At that time, I was buying my own Joes regularly. I had a job delivering a paper called the Penny Saver, which was just a, a small community paper where my businesses did advertising. So I'd ride around and th deliver that paper throughout the neighborhoods. Spent more money fixing my bike than I did buying GI Joe. Um, we had these little thorns called bullheads. It's a seed with two thorns sticking out of the sides, looked like a head of a bull, and those were everywhere. You couldn't escape them, even on the sidewalk we would have them, so I was always getting flat tires from those stupid things. So I spent more money on the inner tubes than I did G.I. Joe, but <laughs> it, um, I did buy quite a few that year. Um, so without any further ado, Let's go ahead and get into this review. Take a look at this sweet action figure. All right, so here he is. Stretcher, version one, version only of Stretcher. 1980, he is the, the end of the vintage line medics. Oh. I take that back. No, he wasn't. There was a medic that came out later. But um, the end, I should have said the end of the golden era of medics. 1983 brought us Doc version 1. Very good action figure. Good solid colors on him. We didn't get another action, another medic until 1986, Lifeline version one, and then 1990. Of course, we got Stretcher, and then 1993. 
or 94 brought us Lifeline version 3. And I say Lifeline version 3 because the Kellogg Serial Company released another Lifeline with some changes on him. So this was actually my first Lifeline, my first medic. All these I bought later on. The stretcher came with a garbage ton of accessories. Now, this was carted, and I'm really glad that they added a small vehicle to a carted figure. And any time a action figure comes with a small vehicle, I, I want to call it a deluxe action figure. And I'll point more of that out when we look at him. But he came with this air sled, which he transports his patients on. The sled came in one, two, three, four different pieces. So you'd see on the front it has this acrylic shield that has the medic symbol, as you can see on Lifeline's uniform. This is G.I. Joe's medic badge. It came with this detachable joystick. You see there's rubber bushings right here to where it simulates movement. Nice detail on the hand grip. But the way the hand grip is shown here, the area where you wrap your fingers around is actually facing forward. So, should it go like that? Or go this way? I like to put it this way because it doesn't interfere with the guard or with the front shield here. On the bottom, is this very nice skid uh, the the motor which works the the air skiff as I call it you can see it has three landing gears air intake here on the front on the back will be the exhaust but look at all the detail that they added to this this is part of why I'm calling him a deluxe figure he has two figure stands, or two pegs right there on the vehicle. More mechanical works. And even up inside there, look at all the detail that they added to this. They didn't have to do that, but like I had forementioned, aforementioned I should say, this was the end of the golden era of G.I. Joe. He came with a flare gun, which was later reused over and over and over again. Great detail on that. It has three flares on the inside, uh, loaded up in the magazine. It came with this hose, which attached to this notorious microphone. It's as small as mainframes microphones. So if you guys know how difficult mainframes microphone was to find. I couldn't find one of these online by itself. Came with this very, very cool backpack. A detachable antenna on it. Um, the antenna, again, is difficult to find on its own. You could see that he has a radio built in up at the top here. Additional pouches for his first aid equipment. Doesn't show up real well, but this is his the medic symbol right in the middle. Um, it could have been painted, but that's okay. So the hose attaches to the backpack and then again fixes to the action figure. Has a little slot in the back and it pins right to his chest. Hose is a little long. But that is okay. I could deal with that. Looking at the action figure himself, great condition. And I want to thank Ben Tom Thomas for sending me this several years ago. Appreciate it very much, Ben. He takes real good care of his, his Joes. Sells only the best. Very subdued colors for his time. I like how they added some paint applications to spruce them up a little bit to break up that gray, little yellow 
color there on a pouch on his left leg. Here on his right, he has two pouches. He has these gray boots, a little bit of green on them. There's a green web belt which goes all the way around. It attaches to this H harness, the load bearing harness. Starting to yellow a little bit on the back. And I noticed that when I took him down off the shelf. He wasn't yellowed when I got him. So I'm going to have to take special care of this guy. He has a blue collar. I like the gray shirt. Very professional looking. His sleeves are rolled up. Some nice gray gloves. He has a sculpted on pistol on his chest there. His gray cap. The very top. He has the medic emblem on there. And on his arm. Yeah, he broke this up with little splashes of blue. He has a nice blue collar. Great looking action figure all around. One of the few African Americans that they have in the Joe line. And I, I really like that. It shows that G.I. Joe is diverse. Made up of Caucasians, Indians, or uh, Native Americans. You know, it G.I. Joe is diverse, and I really like that about them. It taught equality to us at a very, very early age. So there we have it. I mean, we, we have a great lineup of medics. Of course, Cobra didn't have any until the modern line where they had the Metaviper. But G.I. Joe had them all, and I guess they counted on, Cobra counted on G.I. Joe to fix up their troops too. All right, so Stretcher is the battlefield medic, and he is a transport specialist. So how does he transport a wounded soldier on his skiff or his sled? Well, he has these two pegs, one up here at the front and one here in the back. And this is something that FormBX257 pointed out, and I, I go along with him. How do you fit an action figure on here if he is wounded? Well, if you're playing in a real-life scenario, I would not put an action figure on here. But you can do it um, lay him on his side like that and he could still work the sled with the, on the joystick or you could lay him in the back and take a chance of him falling off which you know that looks pretty good but you're looking at a guy that possibly has a spine injury so you don't want to be Letting his legs flop around. So the way I see this is he could transport the walking wounded. <clears throat> what I mean by walking wounded is a soldier who's wounded bad enough to require going to the hospital, but not injured to the point where he can't walk, he or she. So you could either... Fit the soldier here on the back, but his backpack, what are you going to do with that? The backpack interferes. So the best scenario, in my opinion, is to fit the action figure here on the front. Then, he, but he can't work to the shift. So what do you do? Just use your imagination. But that's the, the best scenario to that. Alrighty. So I do highly recommend that you get this guy great action figure there are a bunch of them out there right now selling relatively cheap and i say relative because we're going to get into my favorite segment byron's Grace. 
yeah there's some stuff to gripe about here if you want this guy just by himself absolutely no accessories bare bones we're looking at three dollars to twelve dollars there is one right now that's being sold for ten dollars nineteen but the price was reduced from twelve dollars the prices are starting to go down on this guy so now is the time to grab them uh, the one for three dollars was actually pretty good looking um, nice tight joints everything so I would say snatch them up uh, buy the accessories later customize them have them for spare parts you know whichever you need uh, great deal on that guy carded this is the deal of the day 65 bucks for a vintage carded figure at $65, I would jump on that all day. That is a fantastic deal. Loose, complete with the file card. Here we go. Okay. $79.99, but he has free shipping. $79.99, we can get one carded for $14 less. Uh, that's a no-brainer in my opinion. Uh, there's one that, uh, a few of them that are incomplete. Uh, they come with a, with the air skiff or the sled. Uh, yeah, the sled, um, it's missing the joystick, I think. Uh, those are going from... Nine ninety nine to fifteen fifty. One of them has has the backpack, no antenna, and so on. The sled, just by itself. Uh, now this is it gets a little complicated with this one. It's missing everything but the top plate here. Dollar ninety nine. There is one that is um, ninety percent complete where it's missing the the shield and the joystick we're looking at um, $6.99 plus four dollars ten ten cents shipping uh, the shipping prices have changed so I'm not I didn't check with the post office this morning so I'm not sure if this guy is um, gouging you on prices uh, so, no miser of the day award on shipping for that one. Up to a, a complete sled for $9.99. The backpack, no antenna, $1.50 to $3. His gun, uh, $1.95 to $4.47. Um, yeah, he's not that rare. So, I'll, I'll call miser of the day on that one, as well as the $7.99. Uh, $79.99 uh, for the loose complete one with the file card. So it might as a day on that guy as well. Uh, the torso, $1.75. The hose, $2.25. Uh, I have looked around hardware stores. You can find hose similar to this in uh, the electric department uh, where you buy you know, electric wiring and stuff like that. So you could buy hose similar uh, for pennies on, on the dollar. You buy it by the foot. So if you want the original, definitely buy the original, but you know you could skirt by with the tube uh, with buying the, the tubing by yourself. Uh, his backpack with the antenna, none of them are bent. 325 to 607. That's pretty decent. I would go with that. Uh, for those of you who are just joining me, I quote eBay prices for the mere convenience of it. I do not, don't do it to pick on eBay nor the sellers. It's for entertainment and also to give you guys an idea of what prices to expect if you want to buy this action figure. And uh, some of these prices are ridiculous as you know and it's making it harder and harder for your average nine to fiver to purchase these for their own collection or to get their kids interested and more and more children are being uh, 
introduced to this, which I really like. Um, seeing a lot of social media with parents sharing these with their kids and getting their kids excited about it. I know, you know my ne nephew and niece are really into it now that every time they come over, they run right back here to my room and uh, start playing with the toys, which is, is great. I love seeing that. His legs, $1.75 to $1.99. His head, $1.95 to $1.99. The antenna by itself, deal of the day again, $3.04. Uh, his file card, $5.32, reduced from $5.91. That is a great deal on that. The hose with the microphone and antenna by themselves, $10.80, reduced from $12. Excellent deal on that. Um, I would snatch it up if you guys need it. Snatch it up right now. Uh, this, this guy is, is fantastic. Uh, the reason why I'm saying he's deluxe is because he, he came carded with a vehicle. Not in a box, but on a card. They spent a lot of time on detail with this guy. They didn't have to add this yellow paint app. They didn't have to add the paint app to his cap. Uh, There's a lot of things that they could have skirted by on, which they did in the later 90s, the following year, that they didn't with him. And they spent a lot of time detailing this sled. Fabulous work on this action figure. Um, I'm sorry I don't have his file card. Uh, at the time when I purchased this, he, he didn't come with it. Um, and it, it's hard to find his file card out there, frankly. And it wasn't until today when I was doing this that I saw it. But... Nonetheless, uh, it's, I call them complete. So, there you have it, guys. The 1990 Stretcher uh, goes in proudly with the rest of the G.I. Joe medics. Uh, just a, a fabulous action figure. I do, again, highly recommend him. So, in closing, November 8th through the 12th, I think it is, uh, heard on the radio this morning, this is National um, Pet Adoption Month. Uh, so please, if you're looking for an animal, uh, go, go to your local um, animal shelter and buy a dog, cat, or whatever they have, whatever animal you're looking for. Uh, give these guys a chance at life. All my pets are rescue, uh, and they brought me nothing but joy and happiness. Um, also, uh, if you want to support this channel, you could do it in several ways. One, you could like, you could subscribe, and you could share. If you're just joining me, uh, please do those three things if you so choose to. Uh, if you want to be listed with my channel supporters, uh, you can uh, make a, a donation in, in three different ways. You can um, make a, a, any um, monetary amount um, donated to my coffee account or my PayPal. All that will be down in the description as well. Or you can make a donation to the channel, a toy, comic book, anything G.I. Joe related. Uh, if you're from a foreign country and you want to send some foreign snacks over here and let me try those, I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, like I, I need more snacks anyway, huh? Uh, just, you know, you'll be listed with my channel supporters. Everyone who subscribes is eligible for a giveaway. The channel supporters will have their own individual giveaway, and those prizes will be a little bit different, uh, be G.I. Joe related or um, even gift cards to help give some of that money back. And all these funds will not ever go into my pocket. It's just crooked and dishonest, and I won't do that, but it'll go to purchase things for the channel for giveaways. So it's all going back to you. Uh, 
so you could do those things all my pertinent information will be listed in uh, the description below you shoot me an email if you like my email address is down there I'll be glad to talk to you guys uh, leave a comment I respond to those I, I I love talking to all of you guys it's it's really opened my introvertism up and um, I'm getting out of my shell and uh, making new friends and I, I do appreciate you guys doing that helping me with with that um, personality quirk so anyway thank you so very much for tuning in uh, don't forget to check out half the battle Timmer's channel for more details on his charity drive uh, you guys you're gonna win a, some great prizes um, it was good prizes last year and uh, I'm more than happy to donate uh, to that cause. So check him out. And as always, don't forget to be kind to everyone. You never know what kind of day an individual is having. And always, always be kind to animals. They know nothing but love and compassion. This is Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. Have a fabulous day. Take care of yourselves. Stay tuned next week for another awesome G.I. Joe toy review. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.